Hello, my kings and beauty queens. How everybody doing this Thursday morning? I pray to God everyone is doing well. But for those who are not doing well, as always, we're going to pray that God heal you, give you a speedy recovery, or just make you as comfortable as possible, whatever it is that you got going on in the name of Jesus. And with that being said, I got to continue to thank my A1s from day ones, my new subscribers, and those who view my channel. Thank you for your support. Continue to subscribe, share, like and definitely leave a comment and with that being said everybody Wednesday I did not do any exercise because I was allowing my body to rest but now that my body is rest to this morning we're going to do an overall arms legs abs squats we're doing it all so just come with me we're just going to do a five minute march in place and um start the workout so let's see what time it is everybody Let's go. Okay, here we go. I hope everybody got some rest. If you did not get any rest, I pray to God that you did some type of workout. Because like I said, I don't want to be on this journey on my own. You know, I want to welcome you all here. So when I start losing this obliques, Losing my lower abs, rounding my derriere, toning my legs, toning my triceps, toning my biceps. I want y'all to be here for it. I want y'all to be here for it. Let's march in place. Sooner or later, this is going to disappear. That is what I'm waiting for. March in place. March, march. Swing them arms. March, march. Swing them arms. And when you're going back and forth with this marching, you're going to feel it in your thighs and you're going to feel it up in your um, below your butt. And that's what's going to help tone your butt and lift your butt. As we age, everything go south. Everything go down. Our boobs go down. Our muscles go down. Our butt side down. Okay, so we want to continue to tone these muscles to keep everything north up. So let's go. Let's get it. Because I'm feeling it already. I'm even seeing the difference. So I'm telling you guys, when I do my measurements, July 1st, I believe it's going to hit the 37 mark. I believe, believe it, I'm going to lose another half inch. I'm believing that. Keep on marching. The reason we marching for five minutes because we're not going to work our arms and then march in place. We're not going to work our um, triceps and march in place. We're not doing the inter, uh, inter, um, interval training. We're not doing the interval training. But we cardio workout, cardio workout, cardio workout. We're not doing that. Keep on marching in place. Woo. I'm feeling it all up and down. I'm feeling it. That's a good thing. Get them legs. I can't march too loud because somebody downstairs and I do not have carpet. So I'm doing some gentle marching. Being respectful. I'm glad that you all watching who watching from the beginning. I'm so thankful that you guys caught me in the beginning because I want you all to see all that. I want y'all to see all that. I want y'all to see that one row, that two row. I want y'all to see that kangaroo um, kangaroo pouch. I want you guys to see that muffin top, that spare tire. I want y'all to see all of that so y'all can see, hey, this um, lady, she, brown tan, she had a gut. She had a muffin top. She was able to stick a straw through her fat. I want y'all to see that so when it goes away, you all can see that I am living proof that if you do this exercise, it works if you work it. So I'm almost done with this um, cardio for five minutes. I got nine more seconds. And after I do that, we're going to go to right into our arms. 
Okay, here we go. And we're not going to do the same exercise this time. We just want to do one of everything. So I'm holding it. And you, if you cannot do this, do not do it with weights. These is five pound weights. Get a pound, two pounds, three, four. Get a can of soup. Uh, you don't even need anything. So this one I'm doing. I'm going up. And I feel the one. Hold that stomach in. Every time you squeeze, two. Release the stomach. Three. Release the stomach. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Okay, believe it or not, you guys, that's the only one we're doing today. We're doing one of everything. So, that's done. Here we go. Spread your legs a little bit. Well, actually, keep your legs together. You're going to hold the weight here. You can sit one. A little squat. A little squat. Two. A little squat. Three. Keep that stomach in. When you, four. Squeeze the stomach. Five. Squeeze the stomach. Six, squeeze the stomach. Seven, squeeze the stomach. And eight, squeeze the stomach. Okay, we're going to rest them shoulders. We're going to rest our arms and we're going to go into the um, twist. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Seven, seven, eight, and eight. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. Reach. One, one. Keep that stomach squeeze in while you're exercising. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. Okay, we're going to relax a little bit. I said we're not going to march. I said we're not going to march. Relax. Okay, so now... We're going to get these dumbbells and we're going to do straight punch. One, one, two, two. Hold that stomach in. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. Okay. So now you're going to do some squats. You're going to get some of these squats in here. Uh, you're doing a whole body workout. Spread them legs apart like this. About that much. About that much. If you're going to look like we're sitting on the stool. One. See how my knee's not going up like that? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. Okay, and now we're gonna do the side to side. Okay, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. Working our inner thighs. Now we're gonna go bike. And do the squats. One, two, three, four. It's like it's a stool. Five, sit on that chair. Six, seven, sit on that chair. Eight, see how the knees is not above my toe. Okay? So now we're gonna do that side to side, working up inner thighs. Working them inner thighs. Spreading them legs. One. Feel that stretch in between them thighs. Two. Three. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight. All right. Woo. Okay, we're going to do one more set in the derriere. Last set for the squats. It's going to be the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Come on, guys. I don't, come on. We don't want that butt going south. We want that butt dragging and getting soft on it out. We want to keep that uplift. We want to keep the butt up, not down. Up, not down. Side to side. One, the inner thighs. We work them in the thighs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you should fit it all up in your inner thighs. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so now all we're gonna do is like be an airplane. You wanna go one, two. Three, engage that stomach. Squeeze that stomach in. Keep the stomach squeezed in the whole time you're doing this. Do not release your stomach. Hold your stomach in. Hold and keep it just like that. Arms up. One, one, two, two. My legs spread apart. Three, three, four, four. I don't know if some of y'all want to see it. Some of y'all probably want to say, how your legs? How you doing your legs? How you doing your legs? Five. Six. Seven. And eight. We giving our whole body a stretch. We giving our whole body this stretch. Okay, we're going to do another set. One, you stretch all that. Two, keep that stomach in. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you should feel it up and down. And your inner thighs, if you don't feel that, you not stretching hard enough. You got to feel that. Whoa. Okay. So get a breather, you guys. Get a breather. Drink some water. Okay, get your dumbbells. If you do not have no weights, it's okay. You're gonna go up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now you're gonna do some triceps. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Now, one. Two. See that arm? I'm not swinging my arm like this. My arm stand to my side. Two. Three. Keep that stomach engaged. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Now release the stomach. Woo. Okay. So now we're going to put the weight in front of us. Put that weight in front of your thighs. Yeah, it looks, um, it's kind of like a two shirts underneath. 
So that other shirt coming down. Okay, here we go. Keep the weights inside. If you don't have no weights, you don't need no weights. If you don't have any weights, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to ball your fist up. Ball your fist. Now, so when you ball your fist, it's contracting your muscles. It's contracting your muscles. It's contracting no fist, fist. No fist, fist. No fist, fist. No fist, fist. You see that? Okay, that's every time you ball your fist up. So if you don't need no weight, just ball your fist up. Here we go. One. Shoulders, two, to your shoulders. Three, raise it up to your shoulders. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. And eight. Okay? Here we go. One. One. Keep that stomach in. Three. Uh oh. Two. I'm sorry, I had missed up that count. This is three. Three. Four. Four. Engage that stomach in. Squeeze. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. And I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Okay. Seven. Seven. Eight. And eight. Okay. Now you're going to do baby squats. You're going to pounce. You're going to do these baby squats. I hope y'all can see without this phone falling. Okay. So we're going to bend our knees just a little. Bring your knees a little and just press that butt like you pushing, like you pushing your butt back to hit the wall. Try to make that butt hit the wall in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Press that butt back. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, feel that burn. Feel that burn. Release it. Release. With that one, hold it. Hold it. But guess what? Hold it. Guess what? Hold that stomach in. Open your legs. And one, two, three, four. Bounce. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six, seven, eight. Ooh, ooh, I feel in my thighs. My thighs and my butt. Ooh, 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 ooh. My thighs and the butt. Ooh. Okay. Now. We're going to do some lunges. Okay, with the lunges, you gotta put your feet back. Put your feet back, like this, okay? When you do a lunge, that bike knee should go up and down like an elevator. That bike knee should go up and down like an elevator. Not going like this. One. See how that knee, that leg straight? My leg is this. When I bend, this leg gonna go straight. Not to the, like this. That knee gonna go down. And this leg going to go straight. One. See, that's that's your position right there. Two. Three. Four. And five. With those, we're not doing eight. No. Because I don't have good knees. If you don't have good knees, do not do this. I do not have Megan the stallion thighs. Okay, I'm 50 years old. I think I may have an issue with my knee. If you got an issue with your knee, do not do the exercise. You don't even have to consult your doctors. If you feel something going on with your knee, don't do it. Pass on this exercise. See this couch in my way, so. Well, I did that one already, it's this one. Okay, here we go. Legs going up. 
I want y'all to see the form. Two, three, four, and I'm not touching the ground. Five, whoever can, to each his own. So I did those five sets now. Let's go back and forth, scratch it out, scratch it out. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do two sets of these, okay? Now, the bike foot is in the bike on the right. Uh, whichever one y'all did first, whichever one y'all did first. One, I want y'all to see that form. Two, three, four, and wherever you feel that ache at, don't go down further than that, five. See, once I feel my ache, I don't go lower. I do not go lower when I feel that ache. Now the opposite leg gonna be in the bike. The opposite leg gonna be in the bike. Let go. And you gonna, when you come down, you're gonna feel if your form is right. If you feel you need to move that front leg up, that bike leg bike, do it. If you feel uncomfortable, you're not doing it right. Cause that leg, like I said, should go straight when I bend down and this thigh should go straight down. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, and five. Woo. I'm feeling that. And what I'm going to do, and you guys don't have to do it. Don't do it if you don't feel like it. I'm going to do three sets. Okay? So don't do it if you feel it. Because I do not want nobody knees hurting on account of y'all trying to keep up with this exercise. It's okay. We all are at a beginning stage. I used to be at an advanced stage. Now I consider myself a beginner and working myself back up. One, that's the form. My body going straight, my bike is straight. Three, four, and five. Okay? Now we gotta switch. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, I want y'all to see. Four, and one more, and five. Okay, you working your whole legs on that one. So while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and do my care for you. I said today, I got energy. Yesterday is good to rest. I rest and now I have energy. And what I'm doing here, I'm going to be going up and down with these exercises. Okay, spread. If you want to spread your legs, spread your legs. If you don't want to spread them, you don't have to. So I'm not going to spread them. Okay, and here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, rest them off. Rest them off. Woo. Okay, here go another eight. Rest. Come on. Woo. Okay, here we go. We're going to do some more. Okay, we're going to put our feet together. As if you're peritone, you're going to work a different part of your calf. Put your feet together as though you're peritone. And you're going to go, you're working a different side of your muscle. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Release. Release. Okay. Release, everybody. Release. Release, shake it out. Shake it out, everybody. Shake it out. Okay, now we're gonna put our heels together. Put those heels together. And you're gonna, one, you're working different part of your muscle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ah. Ooh, y'all, I'm feeling the burn, I'm feeling the burn, I'm feeling the burn, guys, yes, I'm feeling the burn, that sweat is popping, and we ain't how to do it in the cardio, we didn't do that much cardio, and this sweat is popping, okay, so, now we're going to squeeze some abs, y'all, 
We're going to squeeze them abs. Let me tell you this. You don't have to get on the floor to do abs exercise. What we're going to do, you're going to brain, and I'm putting bra. Scraps sliding down on feel comfortable. Drink some water first, y'all. If you need got some water or some Gatorade or something, drink some water. Okay, here we go. Get back right. Get yourself fixed up. Adjust your pants, shorts, adjust your shirt, top, whatever. And what we're going to do, we're going to hold our arms up. And we're gonna squeeze them elbows and bend down, okay? And when you bend it down, squeeze that stomach. Okay, here we go. Elbow touch, squeeze down. One, elbow touch, squeeze down. Two, elbow. Three, elbow. Four, touch. Five, touch. Six, touch, seven, touch, eight. Ooh, let me put my clothes in the dryer, y'all. Hold on. Okay, okay. So we did those. So now we're going to do some knee to chest. We're going to do eight with the same leg. One, bring it down. Two, bring it down. Three, engage that stomach. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. You see, I'm do, not doing this. I'm not doing that. That is what I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. Elbow up, leg like you fit to get ready to run, and you're going to hold that position. Be comfortable. Don't be doing all this like you're going to fall. Okay, be comfortable. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And so, you guys, the exercise I'm showing you is how I lost a half an inch around my stomach. These exercises is how I lost that inch, half an inch around my stomach. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. Drink water. Gatorade. Powerade. Vitamin water. Water, a little splash or something in there to sweeten it up. Okay, here we go. We're going to do them abs again. Touch, touch the abs. One. Touch the elbows. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so all these exercises, these abs exercise, I'm gonna do them one by one. I'm gonna do this not gonna be a set. I'm going to show y'all what you can be doing the days that I'm not doing these exercises, doing these workout, workouts. These are the, these are um, how I lost a half an inch. This is how, definitely by doing cardio. If you're doing cardio, you're going to burn overall, head to toe, you're going to burn. So this is what I um, target tone, this is it. So do those, you're scratching that out. Do these, keep your feet in front of you. Do these, do these, hold your arms up, one, okay, hold the whole side, like you're pounding in your thighs, like you're pounding your thighs, while I'm doing this, I might as well, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, do those, Definitely do these. You're working your lower abs. Um, do these. Hold your hand like this. Uh, you can use weight and just bend. One, because you're lifting that lower elbow. up. Two, we're going to just do these. 
three, four, bend back further enough where you can feel, feel that pull in your lower abs. Five, six, seven, and eight. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do two more sets of eights. Do all these exercises I'm showing you for your abs, do them. If you, if you see, I, when I come on, I say I'm not doing any exercise today, that's because my body feels like I need to rest, restore, recuperate, rejuvenize. That's because of me. I don't know how you all feel. You might get exercise seven days a week, working different parts of your body. That's fine, okay? So do some of these exercises in the meantime. You can hold your hand like this, like this, you know. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I also feel it on the bottom of my butt. So that's a good thing because I'm telling you, as you get older, your butt will droop. i seen it in people. I seen it. When people get older, their butt is not lifted up. Their butt is not up. Their butt is don't have that up. It don't have that little crease underneath because it's sagged. One, two, three. You should be feeling some type of pull in here. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, guys, that is it for the beginning. So like I said, those exercises that I just showed you all, do them. It's going to help you lose around your weight, your um, abs, your um, kangaroo pouch, fupa, your obliques, um, spare tire, whatever you want to call it. It's okay, give it a name. It's going to be gone in a couple of months. Don't worry about it. When I first came on, I didn't mind showing all of what I had because people need to see what I have. They got to. They don't. They don't need to see me already slim. None of this. All that's flat. All this. That's good to help you all to show you all how to exercise. But to actually see me with this uh, picture more than an inch, all this, all this for you guys to actually see it. And see that by October the 13th, it's going to be gone. That is seeing it with your own eyes that you can believe it. Okay, I'm eating three meals a day. If I don't eat three meals a day, somebody told me about these premier protein drinks. Okay, so some people probably drink one for lunch, eat uh, one for breakfast, eat a lunch and dinner. Some people probably eat a breakfast, drink one of these, eat a dinner. Some people probably eat breakfast and lunch and drink this for dinner. Okay, so I don't substitute all the time. I do eat my three meals. But if it's at night, I done did my two jobs. I just feel like not eating, putting nothing heavy on my stomach. I eat this, with a, uh, drink this, eat a banana, drink this, eat a... Um, an apple, drink this and eat um, um, something. You know, I just don't drink this and with nothing else. I eat something else, like a fruit or something. Okay? I bought these here. I bought prunes, you know, because it's good for you. And they help you go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom easy anyway because I drink a lot of liquid, a lot of water. So I go to the bathroom easy anyway. So I eat these because they are good for you, okay? I got my broccoli. I got my celery sticks. And I got my pink um what do you call it the pink or red i got my i think i think they pink yeah they pink grapefruits so you know just it's all about what you do i eat this uh, my blueberries Publix have the uh my blueberries on sale 
fresh blueberries, three for $10 at the Publix in Florida. So I grab, put some of these in my oatmeal in the morning. When I go to work, they have oatmeal. Instead of eating all that other stuff that I used to eat at work, I get a bowl of oatmeal and put my fresh blueberries in there. So like I said, I do eat my three meals a day, but I eat small portions because I know I, I know how my body going to form back. I know by the time my birthday come, this going to be gone, this going to be gone. I know it. I'm going to feel good. I'm going to go shopping this weekend. I'm going to buy some more uh, workout clothes. Um, I'm going to continue to come on elite, doing exercise at least at least four or more times a week because I want to keep you guys motivated. I want y'all to enjoy what I'm about to enjoy. I'm, I'm feeling it now. I'm seeing that I'm losing the weight now. I'm feeling it. I'm seeing it in my clothes. So continue this workout with me. Put it on TV if you need it on a bit bigger screen. Do the work out. It works. Trust me. I'm seeing the difference in my waistline. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing the difference in my thighs that they tone. I'm seeing the difference in my calves. I'm seeing the difference in my biceps, my triceps. I'm seeing all this. And I think today is the, today is the 16th. And I started January of June 1st. I started June 1st in 16 days. I feel and see a difference. So with that being said, everybody, you got this. Don't worry about what weight you are. I don't care if you over 100 pounds, 200 pounds, 300 pounds, 400 pounds, 5 pounds. I don't care if you overweight, 20 pounds, 50 pounds. I don't care. You don't care what weight you are now. It's okay. Start doing a march in place. If you say, I can't keep up with Kathy, a.k.a. Brown Tan Johnson, it don't matter. March in place. Do these without weights. Do these. Just stand up and do these. Do these. You know, do this. Do this. Do that. Do something. It's okay. Okay? You're okay. You're going to be okay. You got this. I'm here for you. These videos is here because I'm doing them for me, but I am here for you. Don't feel no type of weight by yourself. Don't feel ashamed. If somebody talk about you, let them talk. They can talk all day. All you got to do is worry about getting your exercise in and showing up and showing out. Put pressure on yourself. Apply pressure to yourself. Don't worry about nobody else. Nobody else. You worry about you and getting yourself in shape, getting yourself healthy. That's all you need to worry about. So with that being said, everybody continue to subscribe, share, like, and definitely leave a comment. With that being said, everybody, peace.